Hello everyone, I'm the T, and this is the Sega Master System. And this is Sonic 1 on the Master System. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's look at the demo real quick while I talk about this game. Um, so yeah, this is the Master System of Sonic 1. This was only released in the US and Brazil. Uh, because by the time this game came out, the Master System was dead in Japan and never really took off in Europe. So they never released it there. They did release it on the Game Gear in Japan and Europe and the US. And the Game Gear version is slightly different, like some levels are redesigned and like updated and stuff, but I still think the Master System is the better version of the game. Um, just like it's the, the Game Gear version is a lot more zoomed in, so it's harder to see around you. And it's definitely clear that the Master System was the first one. But um Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting a notice that I'm having an encoding overload, which is an issue. What if, what do I have open that could be causing issues? I mean, OBS is using a lot of GPU, but that's about it. Did I change something when I didn't really mean to? Fire fire is very high. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording here and I'll put everything together in post, and I just wanna take a look at this recording real quick. So let me just do that. Because I had this problem last night as well. Yeah, so I want to make sure there's not an issue. So let me, let me take a look real quick. That's not the right video. Oh yeah, that's... something is definitely wrong. Okay, I must have... let's look in my OBS settings real quick then. Hmm. I probably won't be able to change anything while I'm streaming, which is an issue. Yeah, let me stop the stream real quick and I'll reset again. I apologize. Hang out, hang out for me please, everyone. Test. Hasn't said it's overloaded yet. I think we might be okay now. Yeah, I think we're okay. All I did was change what type of encoder it was using to a different hardware based one, so maybe I just. it got changed to the wrong one when. when an OBS updated or something, or I might have hit it by accident. Yeah, I think we're okay. Alright, so since I'm just gonna have- well, yeah, I want to keep that intro in, so I'll just stitch this in here. Hello, everyone, again. Sonic died. Um, so yeah. Where, where, where was I, basically? Um, yeah, this is- the Master System seems like a kit version came- seems like it came first, but the- uh, it came first before the Game Gear version, and obviously these are both after the Genesis version. Oh god, thank you. Um... Because the Genesis version added... Oh, I'm sorry, no, the, uh, wow, I'm all... Still all frazzled from the issue, but everything seems to be recording good now, so it's fine. And the Twitch VOD is always a backup that I will be using, so... Let's just go ahead and get in here. Oh, I can't press the start button because the start button is on the console itself, so it wouldn't take that as an input. But yeah, this is uh, Green Hill Zone, Act 1. It's just like the Sonic you remember, except all the enemies are very tiny? But yeah, the main difference... Oh yeah, so let's do this dumb thing. I think... No, it's not here yet. It's a little bit further ahead. But basically... Um... I forgot to grab the... Yeah, this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All I'm doing is holding right, and it's just... <laughs> yeah, the Game Gear version does change Sonic's sprite to make it smaller, actually. Um, and everything on the Game Gear version is 
zoomed in more. Um, so it's like harder to see around you, which is why I think the Master System version is better, but... It's- the Game Gear version's still playable, but I would take the Master System version to see. Oh no, but the Master System version also adds like warning signs before pits and stuff because you can't really see the pit. Also, look at how this terrible this shield looks. I love it. But yeah, already you can see that this game is going for less speed and more platforming. Okay, and more slowdown. And there's a 1-up over here. Yes. Every single stage has a 1-up hidden in, the, in it. And if you collect all the 1-ups, then that's the only way to have the very last 1-up spawn. But I already skipped one of the 1-ups, so I don't care. But I'm still going to get as many 1-ups as I can. Yeah, puzzle platform. Oh, come on. Also, checkpoints are that. That's the checkpoint now. It's like, yeah, we can't do a star post. Let's just put a down arrow. With no indication that that's what it does. Hi, Buzz Bomber. Hi, little, little guy. So there's something else over here. I think it's down this way. Yeah, it's a Chaos Emerald! Wow, I got my first Chaos Emerald. So all the Chaos Emeralds are hidden in the stages, one per zone, I guess, but which act is it, it's in varies. And they just kind of give you the good endings, so there's not really a point of collecting them, but I'll, I'll be collecting them because it's worth showing it off and I know where they are. No way, Buzz Bomber. I think they have to go up here, yeah. Wait, something over here? Yeah, rings. I did not have this game as a kid. When I, My first Sonic game on the Game Gear was probably Sonic Chaos, but... And I did not have a Master System as a kid. Oh, jeez. Precision platforming. Oh. I will say the sound, like the jumping sound, is good. Also, so this game was developed by uh, a game company called Ancient, who is was run by Yuzo Koshiro and his family. Uh, Yuzo Koshiro is mostly known as a composer, and I don't know if he's much of a... I don't know whether he does much in game development or whether he just composes for the games. I know he did do the music for this as well. And most of his other family makes the games, I guess. Um, but Yuzo Koshiro is known for doing the soundtracks for the Streets of Rage series, and they also developed Streets of Rage 2 and 3. Um, a bunch of other stuff. They did Act Razor 2, which is a shame, because Act Razor 2 is not very good. It's Act Razor is amazing, and Act Razor 2 is just kind of bad, because it's... it's ex oh, right, I got a special stage. Okay, cool. So I I forget what caused a special stage. I think it's if you have 50 rings, and you go past the goalpost, and it does a special stage, and they're just like, hey, collect a bunch of rings and stuff. And it's a Sega, and there's a continue there. Yay. And the special stages in the Game Gear version are completely different in layout. That's that's one of the major differences in the game, is just the special stage layout they're different. Let's try to get... Uh, well, I don't think there's enough rings for an extra life here. And I'm... Uh, okay, I can go back here. I do think you want to get to the end before... Time runs out, but I don't remember why. Come on, two more. Yeah, I got an extra life. Oh, and now it's gonna judge me for having zero rings. Yeah. So when you get when you get a hundred rings, you get an extra life, but it also sets your rings to zero because they couldn't keep track of more than a hundred rings. And so if you get hit after that, you die because you don't have any rings. Anyway, here's the first boss. There he goes. Also, this is a map screen, which is very cool. Like, hey, it's cool to see South Island for the first time. Ring somewhere? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Are there any rings? I, f I feel pretty sure there's supposed to be rings here. Is it right at the end? Nope, whatever. So on the Game Gear, this boss is very easy because... Like, I can't reach him right now, but on the Game Gear, you can reach him, because the Game Gear screen is smaller. Like, I should have hit him there, but... So you just kind of wait for him to come down, and this is all he does, it just... Just does a little charge at you, that's his whole thing.
I'm always leery when I fall through it. Oh, wow. Yep. That's why. Is there really no rings here? Hmm. Hidden in a tree somewhere? No. Down there, maybe? <laughs> nope. Later boss stages definitely have rings, so it's fine. Yeah, that actually that that is probably fair. Is actually yeah, like they can't. Like, what are they gonna do? Yeah, make it cap at 127 or make it reset to zero at 127? Like, already hard enough to program this. Oh, that count as a hit. But yeah, this was an extremely late Master System game. Like, the Master System was dead when this game came out. It um. Master System actually stayed alive in Brazil for a very long time because they didn't have the Genesis in Brazil. And so uh, there was a Brazilian company that kept porting over Game Gear games to the Master System. So they're just Master System versions of games that are literally ported by like a team in Brazil, I think. Or maybe they're just in Japan and they just made them for the Brazil market. I don't know. But, yeah. There are actually plenty of like exclusive Brazilian games. Like there's a Brazilian uh, Master System game based on a Brazilian game show. Which is cool. But yeah, this game's neat. Yeah, it's somewhat similar to that, but... I guess it just feels weirder because, hey, it's Brazil, but... And now we go to Bridge Zone! Which has fantastic music, but also, hey, this isn't in Sonic 1. What? There's this guy. Like the little tiny jaws chompers. Okay, yeah, I wrote down some stuff. So it's a second set of scales, so that's a ways away. Wow, the falling bridge, donut blocks. What if this, no, this this can't predate Super Mario? Well, 1991, I think, so. Also, yeah, the clouds are kind of cool, the way the... Actually, wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. Why are there, like, blue clouds in front of the white clouds? Like, what? I, I was waiting here, like, I don't remember what to do here. And, like, oh, and the platform shows up. Yeah, okay. God, it's so, this is. I'm pretty sure this is natural slowdown and not. Yeah, it's not my computer being wi weird. Okay, so wait. I want. I want that one up. So let's. Oh Jesus! <laughs> this fell off. So I think I need to let it hit me up twice, and then... Yeah. Like in Starlight Zone, and Hilltop Zone, which is which is after this. This game came out between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, obviously. And hey, there's the Chaos Emerald. How well hidden it is. Jesus, so... Yeah, this this game's all right. And yeah, I get another special stage, and I get to keep my shield because I guess I didn't remember to reset the shield state. Like nothing in here can hurt you, so there's no reason to have a shield. But ah. Uh... Continue, please. Oh, I think I need to hit it from the bottom, and then... And then it falls, maybe? Yeah. But only when it's on screen. <laughs> it, it doesn't know how to fall if it's not on screen. Hey, drawing 3D rings is hard. Alright, I'm done with this level.
And they, they do start to look better in later games, so that's something. Also, this level is interesting. It's an auto-scroller. It is Sonic game. <laughs> like, I guess to be fair, that the like the definition of a Sonic game was not well defined at this point. Like, Sonic One was one fast level and a bunch of like mostly slow levels, but it still feels extremely out of place even thinking about Sonic One and Genesis. Shit. <laughs> Also, wait, I keep my I keep my shield even through stages, so I guess I don't reset it at all. That's interesting. No, I don't like... I Hot take, I don't like Sadam. I don't like the Sonic TV, the, the first Sonic cartoon. I think AOSTH was fine, but I don't think Sadam was very good. It's just too moody, and... I don't know, I never really... I was never a Princess Sally person. You should watch, um, what would be a good one to watch? None of them really. Oh god, oh god, why? <laughs> also, I like that the water is covering up my lives counter. Just not the right layer. I don't know, none of the Sonic Cartoons are very good, actually. I've heard Sonic Prime is good, the new one that just came out, although it's only, like, people are saying, like, well, it's only the first season, so it's, and it's, like, one-third of the story, I guess, so, like, I don't want to watch it until the whole story is available, but... I did watch a bit of Sonic X in Japanese, and I hated the 4Kids dub. Like, um... There's a joke in the beginning that's just like, um... Like, Sonic is on a race car. Or an uh, idea. Yeah, he, a cop is in a race car chasing him, and he hops on top of the race car, and it's like... He basically just says in Japanese, like, kids, don't try this at home. And the, the dub was like, that's not a funny enough joke. We're going to change it to, remember, kids, don't use a race car to chase supersonic hedgehogs. And it, I don't know, I just thought that's a way less good of a joke than just saying, hey, kids, don't do this at home. Because the idea of doing this at home is already funny enough. I don't know. Am I being pedantic about it? Yeah. I guess I want to... Yeah. Well, I don't think they should say, hey, kids, do this at home, because then that's, like, endangering kids, and that's not cool. Sonic would never endanger kids. There's not really not much else to talk about in this level. It's extremely slow. Remember when I blazed the fuck through Act 1? I don't know why that works. Like, if you just hit that ramp in a certain way and hold right, you just go to the end of the level, basically. And I think it's fun, so I do it. I don't care about showing off that stage. <laughs> Make your first stage more interesting, or else I wouldn't... Oh, we have control now. Oh, I just realized the Act 3s have 1-ups as well, so I didn't get the one in Green Hill Zone, but that's fine. Hmm. I don't know if Sonic would vape. I think Sonic would be one of those people who, like, doesn't smoke weed because he doesn't like the way it makes him feel. Like, he doesn't like being that relaxed. <laughs> this guy, I've never smoked weed. Just like my hero, Sonic. I'm not gonna make it to the end, and that's, that's okay. I mean, yeah, I can't picture Sonic drinking alcohol either, so... No, Sonic is definitely not homophobic, because he's gay. Oh wait, I forgot to- there's a one-up over here. Sonic is not Jewish! <laughs> <laughs> nothing, no, nope, nothing, hmm, I said that in a way that sounded like I hate Jewish people, but no, it's just, I, 
no, he's not. Like, oh, I died. Yeah, that's true, but I don't think Sonic is. I think Sonic is very happy about Amy and Rouge. I forgot how to beat this boss. <laughs> I don't think Sonic has ever studied a day in his life. What if I go over here? It's been a very long time since I played this game, for what it's worth. Does that run up respawn? It does not. Terrible game design. Okay, what if I... Boop, boop. Nope, I was trying to get, jump over to the left before it killed me again. Holly, what are you talking about? Don't, don't say terrible things about Sonic. Sonic is my friend. Nope. Hmm. Okay, how about one of those? I, I jumped! I pushed the jump! And <laughs> he's... Mm, video games. It's okay, we have all those continues, and I'm pretty sure the Chaos Emeralds are retained through continues. I, if not, then that's a bummer. Okay, so do one of those. Boop. Boop. Oh, that was a lot faster. Maybe not boop boop. Okay. Game over! Continue. And it puts us back at the same level, so we're fine. And the 1-up should... did not respawn! Also, yeah, I can believe that. I do think Sonic has listened to the Beastie Boys. I think Sonic likes every genre of music. I figured out the pattern. Now to do it three more times, if I have been counting correctly. Two no, I've not been counting correctly at all. I think, Finn, I think you might be right. I think Sonic might be the, the Beastie Boys of video game characters. That sounds right to me. Because, like... Oh, also, Jungle Zone. We're in a jungle now. It kind of has a little bop to the song. But yeah, I think, like... Like, Sonic is often defined by, like, Crush 40 as the band, but, like, I think the, the, the actual Sonic song that fits Sonic the best is the Lieberhead version of His World from Sonic 06, which isn't actually used in the game, it's just on some of the soundtracks, but it's definitely the most Sonic song to me. And it's uh, that song has, like, a punk, like, a punk vibe that's, like, almost Beastie Boys, but I guess more just, like, regular punk, but can I have this one up or shit? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, okay. But I think I can no longer get it now, because I need to be up here to get it, so it's fine. Alright. I thought that was going to be a wall for some reason. Can you imagine doing this on the Game Gear with, like, being able to see way less around you? Like, it already has the, like, old platformer problem of, like, I have to be a very far to the right side of the screen to be able to 
um, advance a screen, which is a problem, but... That's a thing that, like, Mario and Sonic kind of solved. It's, like, where, where you stand on the screen before the screen scrolls. Hey, a checkpoint. But yeah, the main thing is take things slowly. Just, with all pla old platformers, just don't rush ahead, which is the mistake I keep making because I think it's a Sonic game. Water, wow. Incredible. I'm... <laughs> Sonic, are you okay? Oh, there's a current! Okay. And because I didn't have any momentum already, I couldn't keep going. Oh, hey, it's in, uh... Not Inteleon. I don't... Is it Inteleon? I don't remember what they're called anymore. The Chameleon guys. Let me double check something here. I guess I should have jumped on that. I, I thought there would be a closer one. So wow, check out this great uh, waterfall texture. That was a mistake. I think you need to re-hit checkpoints as well to keep them for the next round, but... Damn it! I looked at the chat. <laughs> chat. I don't like this joke. <sighs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's funny how quickly the camera goes down when you press down. So those guys just stop existing once they get to the water. Okay, so let's take this very slowly. Wait, this isn't even this isn't even the one. Okay, this one's fine. Take this one very slowly. It's like how rude is it that it's like one thing wide? Oh! I guess I need to wait to be lower down. Okay, sure. It's fine. We have zero continues. This game's a lot harder than I remember it being. And I was like, this game's no problem, but it's just because I used to have it memorized, and I definitely don't anymore. And that what up is gone. Anyway, I'm up here again. That's everybody's day going. I'm playing Sonic 1 on the Master System. That's how my day's going. music, though. It's funny the, like, level of music culture around Sonic the Sonic series, like... Like, there are really good remixes of this song. So I wanna... Wait, I guess I just wanna stay on it... Yeah, till you see a platform. That makes a lot of sense. That's almost game design. And then you see the waterfalls. Although I guess you could also just wait to see the platform, but yeah. What do you what do you plan on streaming? I got scared there. Let's plan, let's go up there. Yay, ups. Art, that makes sense. I've never streamed art because I don't know how to draw. Oh, hey, okay, so this is the part I was in. Look, we got rolling logs. And I think it's down here. 
Dr. Log Rolling and Spike Platform, I wrote. So let's look for a Spike Platform. No, I fucked up. I fucked up. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check something real quick here, because I don't... Yeah, no, there was way no... I messed up completely. Hmm. Would it be bad for me to just start the game over <laughs> at this point? Because I want to get all the Chaos Emeralds. But... Hmm. Hmm. What happens if I run at a time? Is there, let, let me double check if Sonic 1 game here has a time over. Also, let me know, do you think I should just start over, or should I just give up on the Chaos Emeralds? They do give you a better ending, that's all they do, is give you a better ending. Okay, there is a time limit in this Master System version, so I could just time over, which I think would be the best idea, but then... This emulator does not handle speed up well. But also, where's it going to put me? Because if it's after the last checkpoint, I guess I can go backwards. Hmm. I feel like an asshole for this, though. So the reason I made the mistake is because there's a section where you're in water where I thought there would be a log there, but there's just not a log, so I just wrote it wrong. And I should have looked read the map better. It's okay, though. Almost there. So I guess, yeah, fun fact if you didn't know, in all the Genesis Sonic games, if you hit 10 minutes on the timer, you die. Which is weird, because, like, there are some levels in Sonic 3 that are very long that could... that's definitely possible to take 10 minutes on. There we go. Okay, so... Where am I now? I don't think I can go back. And I don't think I have a... Yeah, I can't... I, wait, okay. I don't think I can go back because there are, like, logs that are here that don't follow the way. Because, <sighs> yeah, like, nothing I can do here. And I don't think I have a continue left, so... But, since I didn't have hit a checkpoint now, I respawn- Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Hello everyone, I'm the T. Welcome back to <laughs> Let's Play Sonic 1 on Game Gear. In this episode of Sonic 1 and Game Gear, we're gonna play on the Master System, and also we're gonna get all the Chaos Emeralds. <sighs> I'm a dummy. To be fair, like, remember the stream anniversary? That's when I wrote out this guide. So, like, that was a while ago. I still would have fucked up during the stream anniversary, but.
Um, actually, actually, I don't know if there's any lore on the Chaos... Okay, so here's the part where I thought there would be a log, but there's not. I wonder... I don't think there's any lore on where the Chaos Emeralds came from, but... There are games that, like, show they are ancient objects that have existed since... a long time. Since the ancient Mayan days, at least. So yeah, I go down here, and then there's this platform here. And you fall and die and get a game over. Hello everyone, I'm the T. Let's play Sonic 1 on me, Master System. <sighs> At this point, I feel like such an asshole and had this go so terribly that I just kind of want to give up and do something else and then come back to this later, but uh, I don't know. This is not my best stream and I feel bad about it, but it's also like... Yeah, that's fine. It's okay to make mistakes. A little bit, yeah. Let's give it another go. If I fuck up again, then I'll think about it later, but... Yeah. The big problem was I wasted all my lives on the bridge zone boss because I couldn't remember how it worked, and now that I know how it worked, that'll be a less of an issue. So let's do this again. This is fun. You literally just hold right. You don't even jump. I don't know how you get past that spike. Like, I don't know how Sonic is getting past it. It just seems like because it isn't loaded in yet, you just go right past everything. <laughs> uh, game? Okay, there it goes. I didn't, <laughs> didn't play the right music. Look at all that time bonus, though. Don't worry about it. I'm holding left. Oh, I didn't make it in. Ah. Refreshing drink of drink. There were times when I was playing like Donkey Kong Country where I game over it and had to replay stages, so it's not that bad. I don't know, I think I'm just being unnecessarily hard on myself because I always am. Slice, slow down, game. Yay, I finally got the first Chaos Emeralds. playing levels are not a whole lot to talk about though and I'm also just still very angry at myself but I'm trying not to be angry like I have a big smile on my face but I'm still just like uh what an idiot I am like that kind of energy if I, I don't have enough to get 50, coin, 50 rings do I that's there were, yeah okay never mind there are plenty of rings yeah I've genuinely wondering, like, how did they come up with the Chaos Emeralds, and, like, why are they called the Chaos Emeralds? Like, I'm... wondering what lore... who decided that, I guess, like... Because, like, a lot of the early Sonic US lore was, like, made up in the US, but obviously, like... They... like, it was completely different in Japan, and they just... Actually, I, I missed the continuous up there. One of these springs makes me go up very high, depending on the color. I think it's the green one. Yeah, there we go. I think I do just want to get one up, so I think the ending goal doesn't actually matter, but... Yeah, basically. 
And there's definitely plenty of lore around the Chaos Emeralds in the game, so it's not really about where they came from. I'm, I'm also more just curious about the name. Nothing over here. Not really much- oh wait, this is the- never mind, this is the bonus level. This is the boss level. I thought I was on Act 2. But hey, I got a shield. That'll help. But yeah, generally on the Game Gear version, this boss takes like literally three seconds. He's just like bonk, 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 and then he's dead. Instead here, you gotta wait around. I should play the Game Gear now, I should not. I think also for what it's worth, the bridge zone on the Game Gear version is a lot easier because he has a different arena that's... Oh. What the hell? Excuse you! Also, wait, there's... Did the, Did the one-up not respawn... Wait, no. No, because it's not the first one-up. Isn't... Did it... Hang on. Okay, no, this is... Okay. The one-up is here. I'm thinking of the bridge zone boss where the one-up is there. I think it's here? Okay, it's, I'm good. I'm following my guide. Okay. Yeah, just jump into this bottomless pit, obviously. is a nice even number that's half. There. That's my um, walkthrough of how you beat the first boss of Sonic 1 on Master System. Uh, please like and subscribe. We save the animals. We beat in Super Metroid. Yes, please turn into a werewolf and subscribe. What, what was I doing there? I was like, I'm gonna jump, and then I'm like, oh no, I might jump on him. I don't want to do that. Good use of that shield, T. Good job there. anything to say anymore. This this song is like one of the most likes of the like one of the favorite obscure Sonic songs. Say dong. Okay, everything was safe there. That makes sense. That, that would be a bad place to put a bottomless pit. I feel like that's a really rude chaos emerald. Or not, not a rude, a very less, like, hmm. A weird chaos emerald because it's so easy to see, but then, like, the jungle zone counterpart for it is a lot more rude. But I guess the idea is like, hey, maybe hang out on platforms a bit more. I'm not so much a fan of this song. This song is kind of grating. 
Like, it's fine, but I don't know. I don't... Is there even enough reason here to get a 1-up? Yeah, there's gotta be. I, I was just... Kidding. Mm, actually, I don't know. Okay, there are, but I just need to get more at the start. I kind of rushed through it. And now we're back in auto scrolling land. I guess now might be a good time to talk about, like, my stream plans. I think I want to revamp my uh, schedule image that might... Oh, jeez. My schedule thing that I just... Also, oh, god, that's another thing. Is when you get hit, which I think this might be the first time I got hit by an enemy with, a, with rings, you can't pick up the rings. They, they're just gone. Like, that, that, that ring that came out of you is just a graphic. It's not a real object. They could figure out how to do that on the master system, I guess. Um... Yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, um... Like, I have a bunch of, like... Or actually, you know what? Probably what I should just do is just take Donkey Kong Country off there. Like, I will come back to Donkey Kong Country 3, but I think I want to do another big game first. The other problem is there are multiple, like, big things I want to do, like, besides... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't do that to me, game. Um... Where's the 1-up in this level again? After checkpoint, it's in the water. Yes, and then a whole jump to, yeah, here. There we go. Um, yeah, there are multiple big things I want to go through, and I don't really know. I just can't prioritize them. Oh, jeez. See, that ring cannot pick it up. That ring can't pick up. And yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking, like, once I finish the Pokemon games, I think the side B of my streams is still gonna remain, like, RPG time. But, like, then I think about, like, okay, well, would, like, if I wanted to play through Breath of the Wild, would that be side... Like, that's a long game, so it might be a fit better on side B, but it's also an action -y game, so it fit on side A, and I don't know. I still have been thinking I want to play through all the Mario RPG games, and that includes Super Mario RPG, which I think, like, originally I wouldn't have com included that, just because I played it plenty, but it's a really neat game that'd be fun to show off, and it's quick and easy, so, like, why not? I don't know. That's where my head's at right now. Now onto the hardest boss in the game, apparent. All oh, right, I can't even have... So, I don't remember if I can't have more than nine lives, or whether it just doesn't show more than nine lives. But yeah, Super Mario RPG rules. That's 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 the gist of it is. I should play it because it rules. And then I will play Paper Mario with Sticker Star. Yeah. I guess I'm just nervous about very long games, because, I don't know. I thought that was going to be the last hit. I was not counting, I just had a feeling, and it was wrong. So long, Eggman! I'll play with you some other time! That's not a very good Sonic voice. I've heard Breath of the Wild is long, especially if you do a lot, and I don't know. So the thing is, I look at how long to beat, and then how long to beat is always, like, 10 hours longer than it actually takes for any game. Like, especially, like, comparing my Pokémon times to how long to beat, like, obviously that's gonna be shorter because of the way I play it, but it's still, like, so wildly different that I'm like, what? And even most platformers are still, like, an hour longer than it takes me, so... 
So when I plug in Sonic 1 Master System on there, do I in include the failed run? <laughs> hmm. Can I get up there? No, I messed up. Yeah, that's true. Like, I do like 100%ing Zelda games, though. Um, like, getting all the heart containers and everything, but... I'm guessing Breath of the Wild is probably very different in that regard. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna guess, though, Mario Odyssey. I probably do 100% that. Even though I've heard even some people say don't do that, but, like, it seems like... Like, if I 100%ed Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Chooie, Odyssey's probably fine. Okay, so let's now figure out how to get this Chaos Emerald. Just wait till it's a lot lower and then jump? Yeah, kinda. And then... Oh, and there's another log. That's a log I was thinking of! Can I get in here? There we go. I just take the log back? Okay. Yeah, that's probably fair, but... Oh, hey. Cool, I didn't know that would work. That makes sense. Because, yeah, I don't really want to, like, play with a guy to see, like, okay, well, I can't get this moon yet, so... Like, I don't really want to play it that way. I just, like, I think playing it more naturally and then just getting what I can or what I stumble onto and then coming back when I... I don't know. Are there situations like that in Odyssey where you have different powers you can't get to yet, or... Or does it just not really work out that way? Okay, that's fair. Then, yeah, I guess just playing it naturally and then, yeah. Okay, that's more interesting then, yeah. Also, hey, we're finally on to new content. Hooray. Well, <laughs> I mean, technically this bonus stage is new... Co Wait, I don't... Yeah, I don't think this is the bonus stage we've done before. I think there are four of them and then they loop. Ah... Uh... Yeah. I don't know, I just, it, I, I feel like I do want to 100% it though, and I feel like I will want to look everywhere I can. But then I'll get annoyed that there's something obvious that I missed. Also 69 rings, nice. 71 rings, nice. Oh, I was not looking at the timer. <laughs> I was too busy gloating about my 69 rings. Okay. I think I already missed the one up here. Oh no, is this act this is act two, never mind. No. Act three. I was reading the one for act three. And that's yeah. Oh, this level is also way kind of better on the Game Gear version, because like see how the screen is keeps like keeps like strolling up like real jankily? Like when I glance up there? The bottom of the screen is the Death Plane, so every time I do that, it moves up. On the Game Gear version, the Death Plane does not move up that quickly. You can fall down on the Game Gear, because the Game Gear screen is tiny and that would be absurdly unfair, but... So yeah, just don't fall! God, I love the slowdown. The one-up hint I wrote for this one is just hard to miss. So, I guess we'll see it when we see it. Ah! See? That! OK, 
Okay, so... Hmm. I was thinking of the chameleon. I thought he did reappear eventually. Okay. Also, I want to say that's a very cool effect for the chameleon to have him appear by having... Okay, no, it's just flickering. Oh, my other screen looked different. Yeah, no, he's just flickering. Okay. Ouch. It's okay, we have all these continues. Okay, it's nice and slow. God, Sonic does handle really slippery. Also, like, this sucks. Like... Okay. I had to, like, let go quickly, quickly to not jump too high. I did it. I'm a gamer. And then, like, you jump on this one, it's like, oh, okay, we're, guess we're going up now. Okay, he's hard to miss. Just beware of the spring, is what I wrote. That's the other part that I left out. Oh, gosh, maybe uh... So, do I want to go right or up? I guess we're going up. So there's another well-known Master System uh, platformer called Alex Kidd. I've always wanted to try the Alex Kidd games. I don't know much about them. I played like a tiny bit of the first one when it was released on Xbox Live Arcade, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm glad I own this now, but... I didn't play it. didn't ever come back to it. Okay, for this one, one up, I said from right, go right into the water. Which, like, do I jump, or...? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Go right into the water. Follow my own instructions. Well, now I may broke even. Oh, this one has this, has this one scrolls. I got really scared for a second there. So they 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 could they could make a scrolling like down scrolling screen. They just chose not to. Like no, we, we kill you. Oh no, Eggman's deadly orb. So I'm gonna get under him and then get out of the way and see how this goes. Okay. Okay, this seems doable. The, the left one didn't disappear fast enough. Deadly orbs. Sonic is also a deadly orb, if you think about it. it. Really makes you think. Ah! ah I knew that was not gonna go well. Ugh. Something interesting I did find out is that um, the Ocarina of Time randomizer now supports skins, and I think there's a Sonic skin for it apparently, but apparently it's kind of janky and doesn't really work. Doesn't really let you um, aim very well, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. Like apparently it had issues when you go into first-person mode, which is always a problem. I did see there was a Princess Rudo skin. I should check if there's a Princess Zelda skin, but...
What? Okay. I disagree with that one personally, but that's just me. Because it was my fault for not getting that first hit in when I had the chance. I feel like I could be hitting him more, maybe, but it's very scary to do so. No! The momentum in this game feels just, like, so slightly off from how you expected to feel. Like, in some ways, it's a little too fast, but then if you don't have enough momentum when you jump, it's a bit too slow. It's not ideal. See, like that. I thought I would clearly go past that, but I, sh I should just keep going right. Oof. Bah. Jump, Sonic. I guess I do have this spare jump button I could be using. There's there's always two of them. If one doesn't work, I could try the other one. That's not that's not how that works. I don't even know what I did there. But it's okay, look at all these one? I have one continue? What? I got more than that, didn't I? Huh. That's that's distressing. I was too busy thinking there. Like, what was that? Like, did they just randomly stay out longer sometimes, and then nothing you can do about it. Hmm. Yeah, it really does just seem like how much momentum they have, so it's like, if they have too much momentum, then they don't... That time it is missed. <laughs> oh, come on! If I game over again, I'm just moving on. We'll, uh, we'll come back to Sonic 1 another time, because I'm not feeling it. I really have no more continues. I could have sworn I got like three in those special stages. Nope. All right. Sorry, everyone. I'm a failure. That was Sonic 1 in the Master System. We'll try it again someday. Maybe. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's that thing is, it's not that like I don't remember it being this hard. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Um. Maybe I'll try playing it a little bit in my off time as well, just try to get a feel for it again, but yeah. I may put it off for a little bit and come back to it, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a break and I will um, play some more Pokemon. But yeah, see you in a bit.